In this problem, we're asked to simplify the square root of negative 169. So the first step in a problem like this is to deal with the minus sign inside the square root. We want to always first turn that into an i. So this is i. And then we still have the square root of 169. Now, the square root of 169 is 13. So this is equal to i times and then 13. However, nobody really leaves their answer like this. They usually put the i at the end. So we can write this as 13 i. And so that would be the answer. But there is a faster way to do this. Eventually, you want to just look at this and say, hey, there is a negative sign under the square root. So that's going to give me an i. And the square root of 169 is 13. So it's going to be 13i. So again, you look at this, you say, hmm, the negative is going to be an i, and then the square root of 169 is 13. So the answer is 13i. It's much faster than doing it this way, and in more complicated problems, this is the preferred method. You just want to be able to look at it and do it. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.